Hey folks, here we are day, however many this is, of self-quarantine or self-isolation or whatever it is you want to call it. Um, here I am self-isolating and in the great outdoors, as you can see. Been cutting a little bit of wood this morning. Uh, cleaning up around the lagoon. Yes, I live so far out in the sticks, I still have a lagoon. Uh, got an email this morning for our, from our superintendent and I guess hit me kind of hard. Um, didn't really realize it, started giving up hope and uh, said, you know, re reiterated the stuff that our governor is shutting down everything until April 8th. And uh, basically our superintendent said, um, make plans for some type of virtual learning because we're not sure what's going to happen. And, you know, I'm a shop teacher. So I live in the world of hands-on and, and doing everything. And I've been thinking this whole time, well, gosh, I can send them a bunch of videos and that kind of thing. But, you know, my kids do. Um, and I, I can't really do that. You know, I even contemplated, hey, maybe I'll send home some packets of stuff. And my wife kind of frowned on the fact that I thought about uh, buying some torches and some copper pipes and sending them home to uh, do some sweating of pipes. But... It's a good thing. That's 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 why God gave us wives. That way we have a little air of reason there in our ear. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I guess I hit some uh, major depression with that. So it was definitely it was good for me to come outside, enjoy the outdoors. I'm definitely an outdoorsy person. But I started thinking and realizing, you know, this is simply a test. I always tell my kids at the first day of school, yeah, you're going to come in here, you're going to learn some construction, or you're going to learn something about mechanics or applied physics or anything like that. But more than that, anything you're going to learn about life. Um, I haven't really been doing that this week. Kind of, it was a good gut check for me, kind of getting out here and, and realizing that. Um, you know, I don't know. I, I, I just kind of gave up and um, I don't know. Thought, well, shoot, my kids aren't going to look at any of this stuff. But even if they catch a little glimpse of something, I guess that's still an effort and that's still a chance. You know, we always start every class of, uh, you know, at the beginning of the year trying to get to know each other. But you know, some of them think they know me, and they, they might to a point, but, you know, just really getting to know me, uh, strife and battle has been part of what's made me, I, I feel, a little bit tough. Um, and even those tough guys can get broke down by something like this. Um, you know, 14 years old, I watched my mother die of cancer and, and you know, had to deal with uh, helping raise a, a special needs brother that uh, was developmentally de delayed and, you um, you know, still still struggles with that to this day. My dad worked all the time because we had 10 billion bills to pay for medical stuff. Um, I ran an auto parts store through 9-11. Uh, I've been telling my bosses that, uh, you know, gosh, this can't even compare to that because we had supply line issues then, but we had 48 hours of what the heck's going to happen. Of course, me and my all of my buddies that were in our early 20s thought we were all getting drafted. Um, hope that doesn't happen now, but, you know. I don't think I have anything to worry about with all this this gray. They don't want me. Um, but, you know, this is a whole other animal. So I, I think about all those circumstances and all those things. Um, there's still that little line of hope. And there's still that line of um, there's still, there's still going to be tomorrow and there's still going to be another day. So, folks, I'm not giving up on you. And uh, I'm going to get off my duff and... Uh, quit wallering in my sorrows i guess and uh get out there and actually uh give you guys some lessons and uh and, and go through some things is it the same as uh tearing down an engine and rebuilding that thing or making a hovercraft or making a cardboard boat float across the lake nah it's probably not going to be the same um definitely not going to be as fun but i i miss you guys i miss all of you i love you um and, and it's it's tough for me too to not be able to see my kids. That's why I got into education because I really thought I could make a difference, um, and I knew how I was in high school, and I needed that little that you know that little voice in my ear and that you know and that light. And you never know when that little voice in the ear is going to click in that teenager's head. Um, I'm still not really sure when it clicked in my head, but it probably did at some point. That's why I'm in education now. But so I'm not giving up. I'm going to put out some videos next week to. Uh, give you guys some encouragement and, and teach you guys some things. Um, you know, I work into public education, but still I, I pray for my kids every single day. Um, we're in weird times right now, so you know what? I don't think they're going to fire me, but you know, something that that uh, that I, I was looking at this morning was in Isaiah 40, uh, 29 through 31. It says, he gives, me strength to the, or he gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. 
Even youth grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run, not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. So that's what I've really been thinking about. It's hit my heart this morning. Um, you know, even the even the young can get can get weary sometime and get weak. But um, you know, we're all going to get through this. Um, I know I believe, and, and through the power of God, we're gonna we're He's gonna pull us through all these things. Um, so just be with us all, and uh, everybody, be kind out there. And uh, for God's sakes, wash your hands. <laughs> all right, see ya.